This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. The Kentucky men's basketball team faces another season of high expectations, and today the players met with the media for Media Day. One of the more popular players coming in, freshman point guard Darren Fox, who is expected to be the next great PG under John Calipari. And Fox says when it comes to potential, this team has no ceiling. It could be as good as it wants to be. Uh, man, I don't think there's a ceiling. I mean, the sky's the limit for this team. Uh, I mean, we can do everything. We've been able to make shots, uh, get to the basket. We have the bigs, uh, the guards to do anything. And defensively, we're, we're going to be amazing. Another guard who has been the focus of a lot of talk this offseason is sophomore Isaiah Briscoe. Does he have a shot or does he not? We'll see. Briscoe showed over the summer that he can step in and be the team's leader, much like Tyler Eulis was last season. He says he has not only grown off the court, but has improved on the court as well. Uh, I think I matured more as a person on and off the court, um, as a leader, and I've been working on my jump shot a lot. I've been working hard on my jump shot. You know, I've been coming in here almost every night and working out. Um, I've improved a lot. Still got a long ways to go, and I'm just trying to get better as a as a player. And then, of course, you got the head coach John Calipari, who dropped a few classic lines Thursday talking about former players and how his main goal each season is to help them achieve their dreams of playing professional basketball. And to provide some context for his case, he told reporters a story of DeMarcus Cousins' mother. DeMarcus's mom calls me in tears after he had been drafted by the Sacramento Kings. Tears. So I think something's wrong. Is everything okay, Miss Cuz? What happened? Can I, is there something I can do? What, Coach, no, these are tears of joy. What, what? I just moved into my new house. I'm standing in the living room. Coach, it's unbelievable. I got a rug on the floor. I got furniture. I'm looking out the window and I see the ninth green. The ninth green? You're on a golf course? Yeah, Coach, do you golf? No, I don't. I said, well, why would you move on a golf course? Because I can. <laughs> I love it. Homecoming night here in Hazard. The Bulldogs take it on the winless South Floyd Raiders. Let's get to it. First possession for Hazard. Hand off to Corey Smith. Touchdown for Corey Smith. Nine yard touchdown. Seven nothing early in the first quarter. South Floyd's turn. All right, we're back to punt. No, we're not. We're faking it. We're faking it. We're getting a first down, but nothing would come of that drive, though. Bulldogs now back at it. Bailey Blair rolling. Matthew Francis. Yeah, bro, take it on in. 14 nothing after that touchdown. Next drive for South Floyd. They fumble the snap. Can't do that if you want to win a football game. Bulldogs all over it. And obviously, Hazard's going to capitalize on this with another Smith touchdown. Takes the toss, goes around the corner, and skipping on in. He go. 21 nothing. late first quarter. Let's go second quarter. They continue. Blair, he throwing it. 50. I said 50 plus yards. Finds his man inside the 15. It would later punch it in because little Andy Baker making his. Yeah, it, he's getting in the highlight pack tonight. 28 nothing midway through the second, and Hazard would go on to take it 56 to nothing over South Floyd. Morehead State getting set to host Marist Saturday in our Appalachian Wireless game of the week, and the Eagles are doing things just a little bit differently in preparation for this game. Of course, after a two and four start to the season, Coach Rob Tinger decided to shake up Morehead's practice schedule. The Eagles. Uh, are now spending slightly less time practicing on the field, a little more time off the field. Got to do a little studying on the film room. Tinger hopes the new strategy leads to a big Pioneer Football League win Saturday over the Red Foxes. I challenged our guys. I said, listen, we're going to come out each day for two hours. Uh, this is going to be our classroom for two hours on the field. And uh, we've got to transition what we learn in the film room to the playing field. The Morehead State's homecoming is Saturday. The Eagles host Maris at 1 o'clock. You can watch the game live on our second channel, this TV or WYMT.com. If you missed Sports 101 tonight on WSGS, we have both my Macy Morris and Cash Daniel interviews up online at WYMT.com. Check them out. They were a lot of fun. That's sports, and we'll be back.